we start at the WordPress dashboard of our live website where you should go to the plugins add new menu. Perhaps the most popular plugin for this task is called duplicator. So let's make a search for it. Know that we're not affiliated with this plugin in any way and I'm just showing it to you so that you can see all the different ways of copying a WordPress website and that way you'll be able to decide for yourself which method would be most suitable for your specific needs. With all that in mind, let's install and activate Duplicator. Now you can see that the Duplicator menu just appeared on the left side of our dashboard, expand it and select settings. Go to the Packages tab and change the SQL mode to PHP code. Basically, we need to create a new package, which is actually an archive of our WordPress installation. So go to the Packages menu, press the Create New button, click Next. You can safely disregard the notice concerning the size checks, so put a check on Yes and click Build. The package build completed, you need to download the actual package files which consist of an installer file which is a PHP script called installer.php and an archive that contains our WordPress files and database. Once you download these files to your computer, you need to upload them to your server where the staging installation would reside. Run the installer script and it will ask you for your database settings. So you still need to create a new MySQL database and user and enter them. Validate and accept the terms, hit next. Once the process completes, at the end you will see this important notice. Log in to the WordPress admin to remove all installation files and finalize the install process. So click on the admin login which is just a link to the URL of our dashboard page. Note that whenever you clone, stage or copy a WordPress installation, regardless of how you call it, the login credentials for all the existing users remain the same. Log in with your existing credentials and you should see the sign, the site has been successfully migrated, the installation cleanup ran and it has removed all the installation files part of the duplicator plugin. So to summarize our experience with the most popular migration plugin for WordPress, and that's pretty much true for all such plugins, their use does automate a lot of steps part of the process, but it's still not super simple and straightforward experience by any means. If you're looking for a single click way of staging a WordPress website, you should check if the company that hosts your website provides such a tool. Here at ICSoft we have a hosting tool that can stage a WordPress installation for you with just a single push of a button.